Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we're heading to Porto and from the Servina Cervecia Artisanal um, and this is the Mosaic Amber. It's a beer style of uh, Beer de Gardi which is uh, originated from Nopar de Calais. Um, so it's 6% ABV. Um, it was in the fridge uh, but it's been out of the fridge for a few hours now because it's been a bit hectic today. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about some of these beers I've tried. I've had two that have just completely gone absolutely everywhere. So um, according to the bottle cap, this brewery was established in 2011. So uh, yeah, craft beer. So got it from another one of the supermarkets. It is looking slightly hazy in the bottle, although it's a, a brown bottle, which is a good thing, but um, yeah, I've come a little bit prepared this time, I've got like a, a dishcloth and some, some um, napkin and stuff, just to, if it does go everywhere, it's covered, so, and I'm half expecting it to go everywhere, so, we'll see anyway. And, no, it's not, it's just gone up like that. Up to about there of the foam. Good. Good, good, good. Although it's still fairly lively, but not, I can handle that. Beer in a glass. So this beer does contain yeast. I'll leave it like that for now. Let it settle down a little bit. I had a Beer recently, um, I'm trying to think, an American brewery. Um, I think it was the Celebration Ale by Two Roads Brewing Company. I think it was that one. That was a a um, a, a beer de Gardi. Oh yeah, Gardi. Yeah. So anyway, so one finger, just off Whitehead. Touch as a touch, kind of a, a slight brown tinge in this, but yeah, some some quite loose bubbles in this one. Um, you can see the carbonation running through the glass maybe if you look at the top there. So yeah let's get a nose on it. Very floral. It's got a nice um, almost herbal quality to it. I mean, this is at room temperature now, and definitely got that kind of grassy, fresh cut grass kind of aroma. A 6% ABV, I am picking up a little bit of alcohol. They're saying on the bottle it's 16.7 IBUs. 16.7 IBUs. Yeah, there's not much else coming through at the moment. Maybe a little bit of honey. Touch of sweetness there. Springtime, it reminds me of that kind of... Um, when, the, when the buds are coming out of the trees and bushes and stuff and the grass is just coming up and things like that. Um, maybe when it rains you get that kind of a that kind of a lush aroma walking through a meadow kind of thing in the spring yeah definitely a touch of honey maybe a little bit uh, grainy as well it smells nice but very subtle but, but yeah I could be getting along with this nice kind of a amber colour go for it cheers Yeah, definitely picking up the alcohol on the taste as well. Um, it's a nice kind of bready malt to this one, but not too kind of, it's, you know, it's not malt forward or anything like that. It's very subtle, but it's quite, it's definitely quite strong. Um, 
Mm. Interesting beer. Definitely a fresh cut grass. More of a kind of a, it's more of a kind of upper end of medium body to the beer. It's quite creamy mouthfeel. Not too bitter, not too sweet. It's just, it's all very low key. But yeah, I mean, I don't know much about this style of beer. Um, so beer de Gardi style. Um, I'm reading from uh, a little bit of research I've done, so it's not off my head, so I'm, I'm not that clever or nothing. Um, so this is a beer for keeping. It is a strong pale ale or, or keeping beer traditionally brewed in Nord Pas de Calais region of France, which is northern France, which, yeah, I can on a clear day I can see that part of France where I live back in the UK. Um, these beers were originally brewed in farmhouses during the winter and spring, to avoid uh, unpredictable problems with the yeast during the summertime. Yeah, so. Um, farmhouse production is now supplemented by commercial production, uh, although most beer de Gardi brewers are small businesses. Um, typically, beers of this tradition are of copper in colour or golden in colour, and has the name, as the name suggests, the orig origins of this style lies in the tradition that it is matured or cellared for a period of time once bottled and most sealed with a cork to be consumed later in the year akin to the Belgian style of beer of saisons so, uh, most varieties of top ferment most varieties are top fermented and unfiltered although bottom fermented and un and filtered versions do exist so there you go you, I mean, it's nothing like a saison, but it's definitely got a, a kind of a that that kind of um, yeastiness to it. Let's pull the rest of this beer in then. It's a little bit lively, so although the head is much creamier now. It's got a, a really tightly packed bubbles on top, almost like a mousse. Um, and yeah, really tightly packed bubbles. It's a bit more kind of going mad with the um, carbonation, but hi ho. It's definitely strong, more strong flavour now. Although it's very smooth with that. This beer I reckon would go fantastic with cheeses and things like that. I'm just trying to, you know, cheese. Not nothing too strong, you know, just the more kind of mellowed out cheeses, I'd say. You don't want to overpower this. Any other information about this beer? Is there a commercial description? Doesn't look like it. Um... Any more information about the brewery? It's in Portuguese, so we'll leave that at that. Um, it's got a best before. Best before. Is that 10 7 or. Not too sure. Of 2018. Can't really tell. Oh, sorry, that's a poor. Yeah, okay, then it's October of 2018, best before. There is another bit of writing here. You can hardly see. Not that it matters really, but um, medium body, soft, silky, and fruity beer. Bronze amber appearance. That's what it says here. Uh, Sovina.pt is the website. I put all the links down below. Um, yeah, they are on Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, and I guess they are going to be on Twitter as well. I don't know. Um, it's got a very kind of style of bottle, like a um, Duval kind of style bottle, or a Belgian style. Um, any other information? Just says keep upright and away from any light or heat sources at temperature below 20 degrees. I'll put it a bit below that, but may contain a small amount of natural sediments. Yeah, there's sediment there. 
let's try and uh, pull the rest of this in. So I'm glad it didn't go everywhere, which is good. You come prepared, and then it, it doesn't go everywhere. If, if this wasn't here, it would have been everywhere. Um, and that's it. There's not much else to say about the beer, so I'm going to give it one more taste then, and I'll give it a rating. Hmm. It's not too bad. It's not the type of beer I, I have all of the time. It's not one of them go-to style beers for me, for my palate. But it's certainly something um, every now and again kind of style of beers, you know. Um, up until fairly recently, I've never heard of this style of beer, so that's it's always good to try and incorporate new styles of beer to your palate. So I'm trying to find the uh, the beer again now. So they're calling it um, once I can find it mosaic. Whether that's the hop variety they've used in this or what, I've no idea. Um, anyway, there's only 19 ratings of this on Untapped, which is quite quite low. I don't know how long this beer's been around. So then, rating for me, a decent 7.5 out of 10, 7.5 out of 10 for me, so, so what's that, a 3.75, um, yeah, 3.75 out of 5 for untapped. So over to untapped, um, 19 ratings, 3.54, so it's just a shade over 7, I'm giving it a little bit more than that, um, I'm glad it didn't go everywhere, it's... It's six percent beer. Um, you kind of whether you're picking up that or not, it, it does come across a little bit boozy in that regard. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd try this again. You know, depending on if it was in the UK, I'd try it just to see how how it travels or anything like that. Um, will it go everywhere? What's the storage going to be like? It's sometimes it's a bit hit and miss with these some of these beers. Um, but anyway, yeah. Seven and a half out of ten from me. Um, check out this brewery. This is from uh, Savina Artisanal, and this is their Mosaic Amber Beer de Gardi. Thanks for watching, then, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.